Hi, it's Rich from Dynaport, uh, little piston video. Get a lot of questions on what clearance and should I run a two ring or a single ring piston. Guys, single ring piston by far makes a touch more power, less chance of on a modified motor of breaking out the ring land from the two rings. So my choice on everything is a single ring piston. Why do companies sell a two ring piston? Consumer demand. Some people think you need a two-ring piston. You don't. So if I was to buy a two-ring piston, I'd buy one of the Weisskos, which has two thin rings. So you guys who still don't believe me, just put a single ring in, push it up and down. Now put two rings in and see how much more it takes. Speaking of that compression-wise, a lot of you guys get worried about a little few lines in your cylinder. On a two-stroke, it will make the exact same horsepower on the dyno. It fills in with the fuel and oil mixture. Works fine with your single ring piston. When we set the NHRA record at 160.50 and nobody's been close, we had a Weisco single ring piston, six and a half thousandths clearance. Um, we run a little looser than a quarter mile because I do an instant burnout with the, the engine stone cold. Normally I would run five and a half, we run six and a half. Uh, and it's, I don't want to seize up at 160, it's a hairy ride. So, the other thing guys call up when I used to do a lot of boring and say, hey, the piston's too loose. Well, they're checking the top. Your piston's shaped kind of like this, and then kind of like this. So, much smaller at the top. Weisco has a variable cam grind, which means they can shape the piston to any thousands they want, which is a great idea. In the old days, uh, it was just a cam ground piston. So the question is, for you trail sled guys, what do I buy? I recommend between probably five and seven thousand, especially on a twin, um, replacing the piston. Uh, stock pistons are fine, they're heavy, they hold up uh, fairly well due to their size. They've got a lot of density. You want to go faster by the Weisco, the lightweight. Uh, there's also a Pro X piston. I believe it's made in the same factory in Japan as a lot of OEM pistons. Very good piston, a little less money than stock. So for my trail sled, I'd flip a coin between the Pro X and the Weisco. Being a racer, I go with the Weisco because it's lighter. This is interesting, guys. Here's a stock XP, a few ounces over a pound. Normally, you use a gram scale. Here's a Weisco, just under a pound. Guys, that's a giant difference when you're turning 8,000 RPMs. And on a race motor, we're turning 9,400, 9, so an even bigger dip, difference. One last thing I want to go in on. When we jet a race engine, let's say this piston that I set at 6.5 is now worn, so it's out to 10 or 12,000. So I'm going to run one jet smaller, which puts more heat on my piston, swells my piston more. If I put a brand new Weisco in at six and a half thousandths, I'm going to lock it up tight. Trail guys, dirt bike riders, we're all in the same boat. When you put a new piston in, especially if you've jetted your machine, always go bigger on the jets. As the piston wears in, then you can go back to jetting. That's fine tuning and it's being safe. Um, any questions, just message me and I'll get back to you. Thanks.